everyone, this is Quotidian Light, and this is my book haul. It's not a very big book haul. It's three books. All three books are books that I've been looking at getting for various reasons. Um, so let me just get right into it. I was in Costco getting groceries. I saw three books for really good prices, and I normally don't buy paper books, but these were books that I knew I was going to end up notating quite a bit, and they were also the kinds of binding and paper that I enjoy reading. So uh, I got... The first book is Gone Girl. Again, I got all these at Costco. Um, this one's uh, Gone Girl by Jillian Flynn. Everybody and their mother has read this book already. I have not. The reason why I decided I wanted to read this book is because this, is, this was a really popular book. And I want to understand why it was so popular. I would like to read it and really see, kind of pick it apart and see what makes this book work. So I'm probably going to read it twice, once for the story and then go back and analyze it using the methods that I've been learning in how to read a book. I'm going to do a video on that book soon, but um, yeah, this book right here is amazing and it's really changing the way I read. So my goal for this is A, I want to enjoy the story, but also the, I bought this book because I want to study it. I want to understand why this book became so popular overnight. Uh, and then the next book I got, it looked like a really interesting story. And when I opened it up, the writing, the writing was be beautiful on the couple pages. A lot of times when I pick up a book, I, I read, you know, what the book was about. And then I'll flip to random pages and just read the language. And I, I liked the language. I, I liked um, how natural the dialogue was. And, you know, again, it was a comfortable, it was comfortable in my hand. I, I enjoyed, you know, um, the binding. And so I went ahead and picked this one up. Orphan Train, a novel by Christina Baker Klein. I know nothing about this book. I was usually when I see things like this, I'll be in the aisle and I'll just, you know, open up my phone and look on booktube to see what people are saying, but I didn't want to be spoiled. Um, you know, I normally d like spoilers. I actually actively go out to find spoilers, but when I was reading this, it seemed like the kind of story that I kind of want to read blind. So I'm not going to be doing a lot of research on this before I read it. And then there's this book, which I've been wanting to get for a while. Haruku Murakami, Colorless, Tsukuro, Tsukuro Tazaki, um, and His Years of Pilgrimage. I love the books of Murakami that I've read so far. And uh, this looked like, this looked like the style of his that I enjoy the most. I, I really liked um, Norwegian Wood. I love Norwegian Wood. And I haven't really read some of his like way out there stuff yet. And this seemed closer like on his Norwegian Wood continuum. So I picked this up uh, to read this next of his. And so those are the three books that I picked up. I am not going to be doing a whole lot of book hauls because most of the books I get are on Kindle. And I haven't quite figured out how I can haul Kindle books because the Kindle's kind of weird um, as far as like book hauls. So those are the, th the three um, books that I did get. I'm gonna do a video real quick on my current strategy for how I'm reading um, and how, and then maybe you'll understand how these books are gonna fit in my, my goals because I'm working towards preparing myself for an MFA program and I have holes in my fiction. I have significant holes in my education as far as the books that I have read. And so I'm working towards filling those holes. And when the books that I'm really focusing on right now are philosophy books. Um, I really feel like I need to have a better grounding of just philosophy in general. Uh, and a lot of those books I already own. Also, I really have not read enough modern literary fiction from about 1950s to now and so hence these three books I'm really going to be focusing on making sure that at least one of the books I read each month needs to be a modern literary fiction novel and um so yeah it, it's kind of like I'm trying to be strategic about it rather than just reading what I want because if I just read what I want then I end up like one-sided and that's not giving me a really broad education and I want to go into an MFA program having a really broad underpinning so that when I go forward with my writing I'll have more to pull from you know I'm kind of working on just feeding my brain 
and so there in in 2001 Ray Bradbury did a lecture where he advised to young people to write a short story every week because you can't write 52 bad short stories but what people didn't remember is in that same speech he talked about every night reading a poem an essay and um and a short story and so i'm also doing that and so every month i want to read a piece of modern fiction but i also want to read uh, an entire book of essays an entire book of short stories and you know 30 poems so that's where i'm going as far as my reading and I do want to do a video on my do-it-yourself MFA program. I just need to figure out how to kind of structure that because that's not a video I want to wing, really. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy. I got three new books. I got them on paper, which I wasn't expecting. And I think they're going to fit in really nicely over the next couple months. Ciao.